Seattle Seahawks head coach Pete Carroll publicly announced that he's considering Colin Kaepernick as an option for a backup to quarterback Russell Wilson. While no final decisions have been yet been made, Seattle Seahawks defensive lineman Michael Bennett thinks that Seattle is the perfect place for Colin Kaepernick. Do you think, Mike, that Seattle is a good place for uh, Colin Kaepernick? And considering that Colin is still without a football home and there are quarterbacks who are getting signed to deals, do you think that Colin's unemployment still um, is furthered, the, furthers the notion that he's being blackballed? I think it would be a good fit for him to go to Seattle. I don't think that there would be too much pressure on him. He would be the backup quarterback to Russell Wilson. And this is a team that has proven year out, year in, year out over the last several years that they can compete at a high level. They have a championship to prove it. As far as Kaepernick being blackballed, I think that if he can honestly play, and he was a number one quarterback, a franchise quarterback, and still playing on the level that he was back in 2012, some of these teams would have wound up picking him up. I really do believe that. However, I think Kaepernick has certainly hurt his case by what he did last season by sitting for the national anthem. I was someone who was supportive of it. I think it was a great decision for him to go ahead and do what he does, do ahead, who, that went ahead and did what he did. I think the people that are being really critical of Kaepernick and saying maybe that he's second-guessing himself don't understand Colin Kaepernick. This guy put himself out there, all right, he made the decision to do what he did, and he's living with it. And I think there's certainly, when it's all said and done, I'll finish with this, Colin Kaepernick definitely has a career in, in social activism. There's no question about it because people have rallied around this guy. Well, I think for in terms of Seattle being the right place for him, I say yes and no. I think yes for the, the fact that he's already been, his protest is, already been embraced by some members of the Seahawks and I think Seattle as a whole strikes me as a really progressive city it's a, a city that would embrace such activism on on his part I would say no only because his desire from all accounts is to be a starting quarterback and he will not have that opportunity it's Russell Wilson's job and I don't see based on his performance that he can overtake Russell but Russell has been injury prone, so he may get a shot to get in there for a, a couple of games. In terms of being blackballed, uh, some people will say that he isn't because uh, Jay Cutler and Tom Tony Romo were basically forced into retirement because nobody wanted their services. But I'll say that he is in the sense that when you look at Mike Glennon, who was a backup quarterback who signed with the Chicago Bears for $45 million for three years, 18.5 guaranteed, and then you have Blaine Gabbert, who Colin Kaepernick took the starting position for. He was signed to the Arizona Cardinals, probably more in a backup role to Carson Palmer. He was signed. So the person that Colin took over the position for gets a deal, and he doesn't. So, and then, you know, there was a lot of thoughts about his, his vegan diet, and, you know, Tom Brady is applauded for his diet, and this is wrong. So I just think that he... There is a little bit of blackballing going on there.